Hey guys, Mr. T here, there's another video. This one is on the line of best fit and drawing it by oh, there's an email, drawing it by I. Um so once you have found R and R squared for a given set of data and their size, so the number that they provide, uh, suggests a linear model based on the previous knowledge that we've gone over. Then you can draw a line through that scatter plot to represent the relationship. So usually you're looking for and R squared is greater than or equal to 0 0.7 before you do this process. Now the simplest way to draw this line, and the least mathematical way of drawing this line, is doing it by I. And the line is drawn, uh, the line that you draw is known as the line of best fit, because it best fits the data. So here's the steps that you would do to draw the line of best fit. Step one, find the average of all of the x data. Um, x with the line on top means the average. Step two, find the average all the y data, y with the line on top. Now those two averages, x line and y, um, x bar and y bar, sorry, form the x and y coordinates of what we call the mean point of the data. So the mean point of the data would be that, the x mean and the y mean as the coordinates. You then plot this mean point on your scatter plot along with all the other data points of your data. Because you're drawing a line through all the data, you need the data to be there. So you can see how the line fits the relationship. Step four is then, using a ruler, draw a line that goes through the mean point that you drew. And that line also has to follow the general trend of the data, determined by R and R squared and the positioning of the points. And lastly, there's, um, the line has to have the same number of points lying above the line and below the line. So that's not even really mathematical. You, you position your ruler to draw a line where there's going to be an equal number of dots, data points, above the line and below the line, and you'll get a line of best fit. So we have an example here. Determine whether a linear relationship is appropriate for modeling the following data, then draw a line of best fit through the data, linking age and years and distance. A discus is thrown um, in meters. So here you've got the data. I've gone and drawn the, the scatter plot already to save some time. So firstly, we need to determine if a linear our relationship is appropriate. So I've already entered the data into my calculator. How do I do that? Stat edit, enter the data. How do I find R and R squared? Um, make sure diagnostics are on by going second zero to enter catalog mode. Turn diagnostics on, then go back into stat edit. No, no, sorry, not stat edit, stat um, button. Go uh, across to calc and then select option 4, linreg, tell it where my x starter is in list 1 and y data is in list 2, and then calculate. And if you do that on your calculator, you'll find that r is 0 0.9173 to 4 decimal points, and r squared is 0 0.8414 to 4 decimal points. This is greater than 0 0.7, therefore linear relationship is appropriate. So next step, we need to find the mean points. So the mean of the x data is going to be add them all together and divide by the number of data. So check how much data we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 bits of data. So add these all together, doing that on the calculator now. 11 plus 10 plus 20 plus 17 plus 15 plus 13 is 180 divided by 12. So the mean x is 15. Distance thrown this time. 20 plus 35 plus 23 plus 38 plus 27 plus 47 plus 18, plus 15, plus 50, plus 33, plus 22, plus 20. 348 divided by 12. Our y mean is th no, not 39. It's 29. So our mean point is... 15, 29. So I need to plot that. 
15 across, 29 up, 15 across, 29 up is there, that is the main point. So the last step of drawing the line of best fit, after we've determined the main point, the ruler needs to go through the main point, we need to position the ruler, unfortunately you won't be able to see it, because you cannot see a ruler that's sitting on top of the screen. We need to position a ruler such that there's an equal number of points sitting above the line and below the line. So right now I have one, two, three, four. I have two points. Isn't that no good? So I'm just playing around with the ruler right now, moving it around centered on the mean point. I'm twisting it around so that I have an even number of points above and below the line. And remember, I can have the line go through the points too, and they're not considered above or below. They go through. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I think this is the closest I'll get, so we'll draw it and show you. So, we have one, two, three, four, five above it, one, two, three, four, five below it, two going through. So that is my line of best fit done by I and just indicate um, what you're trying to do, five above the line, five below, two through. And that is my line of best fit. So hopefully you can see that process of drawing the line of best fit by I. The keys are finding the mean point, determining if a line of best fit is appropriate, using R and R squared, and then messing around with the ruler so that you have an even number of points laying above the line, even number of points laying below the line. And sometimes you may have to draw the line through some points to do that. All right, so hopefully that helps you out, and I'll see you in the next video.